Crouch cancelling or CCing is when you crouch before being hit to reduce the effect of the move hitting you. CCing is crucial in both SSBM and PM where its effects are massive, but in Rivals of Aether the mechanic is not as impactful to the point that people tend to think it's not important to learn or that it doesn't exist. This video will go over how crouch cancelling works in Rivals and when it can be useful. When crouching in Rivals, the base knockback of an attack is reduced by a third. This is different in melee and PM, where the total knockback is reduced. Since only the base knockback of attacks are reduced, the effect that crouching has in this game will vary more. Although generally most attacks will be noticeably weaker, with it even possible to reduce knockback enough to prevent your character from being lifted off the ground at low percents. Furthermore, crouching also, for everyone except for Shovel Knight, significantly shortens your character's hurt box, and both the knockback reduction and the shortened hurt box occurring immediately on frame 1. These two passive effects alone make crouching a very strong defensive option, however the knockback reduction is not without its downsides. Attempting to crouch cancel might get you to DI down on certain moves that will kill you a lot earlier than expected. Knowing what moves are safe to crouch against therefore requires intimate knowledge of your opponent's moveset. Flinch state is when the knockback of an attack is too low to lift characters off the ground. Naturally going into flinch is not common, but the first hit of many jab combos and a number of other attacks will always cause flinch. If a move places you in flinch, that move can be crutch cancelled. Successful crutch cancels look exactly like when you are placed in flinch, so use this as a visual cue for future attempts. Despite their visual similarity, Unlike when you are placed in flinch, where you take normal hit stun but are not launched, a successful crouch cancel will limit your hit stun to only 8 frames, letting you act much sooner than normal. This lets you do stuff like parry in the middle of jab combos, allowing some further counterplay against them. Crouching is also a useful defensive option against projectiles. All projectiles that do less than 8% can be crouch canceled. This includes Zero Fireball, Adza Cloud, Sylvanos Roots, Eliana Missiles, and so on. A crouch cancel against these will once again limit Hitson to only 8 frames, with a slightly higher inactionable period compared to the opponent due to the hit pulls from the projectile itself. It's still a useful alternative as opposed to parrying sometimes. Before we end, we should quickly touch on infinites involving looping moves like Iliana Dare 2 or Rano Up Air 1 on someone on a platform, where by hit falling them over and over you can keep characters stuck to the ground and give them functionally no chance to escape. Buffering a crouch cancel against these hits is often the only way to escape, as it allows you to reduce the hit stun enough to let you parry between the attacks. Hopefully this video was able to show you how crouch cancelling differs in rivals and the uses it has in different scenarios. Special thanks to SNC for providing the original script and proofreading this one. Follow, like, comment and subscribe. See you around.